Hey guys, it's Maddie, and today I'm going to be talking about how to find comfort in discomfort. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you stopping by, and maybe if you like it, you can subscribe or give this video a thumbs up. So here's the thing, we all crave comfort, right? Everybody loves the feeling of snuggling up in your bed, watching some Netflix with a bowl of popcorn. Clearly comfort feels great, but just like anything in life, it's only good in moderation. Our minds literally crave comfort, but when we stay in this comfort zone for too long, the great feeling of being comfortable starts to fade and you get stuck in this endless cycle. About a year ago, I was stuck in a routine of comfort. I was in a comfortable long-term relationship. I was comfortable still living with my parents and I was comfortable with the few friends that I had. Have you ever heard the quote, good is the enemy of great? Basically, when life is comfortably good enough, it doesn't give you that push you need to make your life great. And that's the problem. It blindly repeats on this endless cycle of comfort. And this is why being uncomfortable is so hard in the beginning. But that is exactly what you need to grow. So like I said, as humans, we crave comfort, but we also crave self-improvement and progress and growth. And to reach that growth, you have to be uncomfortable. So there's this gap in the middle that you have to close in order to reach your potential. Literally any self-improvement that you want in your life will be achieved through discomfort. However, there's a way to achieve your discomfort and growth by making it into a routine and finding comfort in that. Okay, let me take a few steps back. The reason I came up with this video is because I actually did a challenge where for 10 days it is something that scares me every day. I'll give you a short summary of what happened, but if you want to see the full video, I'll link that down below and on the screen so you can check that out. The very beginning, the first few days, I did stuff that scared me. It was awful. I literally hated the feeling before, like one of the worst, most terrifying feelings ever because you don't know how it's going to end up and you're terrified. However, as soon as I went through that initial terrifying feeling and actually completed whatever I was trying to do, it was this instant surge of confidence and accomplishment and holding on and remembering that feeling is the most important part because that was what got me through the whole rest of the 10 days. When I can remember how awesome it feels to actually complete something that I'm terrified of and how I can prove myself wrong that I didn't think I could do it and then I actually did do it, it's this incredible feeling. By the end of those 10 days, I craved that feeling. And the scarier the things were before, the better the feeling felt after. Literally after those 10 days, my brain was like still searching for things to do. It was like, oh, I could do this and I'll be afraid of it, but then I'll feel great after. So holding on to that awesome feeling can let you create a cycle of discomfort and fuel every single time that you do something that scares you. So if anything came up that scared me, I just had a different mindset about it. Rather than being terrified and fearful of it, I saw it as a challenge that I wanted to overcome. So the more you do these things, your feeling of accomplishment doesn't go away, but the feeling of fear starts to feel better because you're associating the fear with the feeling of accomplishment and not the feeling of being destroyed by something that you're afraid of. So again, if you want to see more about that challenge, check the link in the description or click the screen somewhere over here and you can check that out. So really all it takes to break that cycle of comfort is just trying something new. It can be as simple as going to a new exercise class or maybe going on a hike by yourself or maybe talking to that stranger at a, the bus stop. and. Once you do that, you'll realize, oh, like that wasn't that bad. And then you'll feel those feel good feelings and maybe you'll want to do it again. And then pretty soon you'll start craving those experiences and you'll find yourself in a cycle of discomfort. So break out of your comfort cycle and do something that scares you. I dare you. So that was my video, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is something a little different than what I've done on my channel in the past. I'm in college now and I'm really into self-improvement and how to better myself as a person. So if you think those ideas interest you, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and also comment down some videos that you'd like to see from me in the future. And if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I come out with new videos every Friday. So I will see you in my next one. Bye!